going on guys? Dwayne here, Dwayne here representing WGD will go on. Damn. So, the boring part of all times for some of you people that may like it or may not. So if you do like it, sit back, relax for a bit and listen. If not, this video may be not for you. So basically it is advocacy. Advocacy. That's, that's the main video for today. There's no reviews, nothing besides, okay... I'm vaping on this today, the recurve with the RSQ, and I've recently just got in the Mage V2 RTA on the Paranormal. But anyway, have a cussy, what's going on? First of all, yes, I am, I live in the UK, we don't have it as bad with the whole TPD law sort of thing, basically, what's going on. For some of you that don't know, over here, the max, the max capacity is 4 mil for a glass tank, and bottles from 50 mil upwards you put your own nicotine shots in yourself that's it that's as far as i know there you go pretty much us have got it kind of bad at the moment in different states different areas and what's going on basically flavor banning that with the fda they're banning flavor how mad is that banning flavor just imagine that okay let's say you go in a shop right oh can i have a uh I'll just have a tobacco menthol, please. Imagine that. There's no, like, apple crumble. There's no cakey-based flavours. There's no fruity-based flavours. That's just disgusting. That, when I heard about that, I don't know, I had to post a few videos on Instagram. On our Instagram, a few pictures just to help out. Because I like, I like to help out the community. Do you know what I mean? Even if it's not affecting me at the moment, I still like to help on that side. So... That's what's actually been going on over there. Um, so we are going to talk about a few stuff. I have, yes, a little notepad. I've got a Justice League one. So just bear with me. If I get anything wrong, just correct me in the comments below. I'm just going to try my best. I've not caught up to everything. What's going on now, but I've only got what I have so far. So bear with me. Now they're going to different... Uh, areas like New York, so San Francisco is actually banned flavors. You can still buy online, but you can't like go in the shop or any local shops down there and just ask for, and go in and get your flavors that you really want. And it's just tobacco menthol. Oh man, I'd hate that. Oh, I don't know. I would uh, hate that. So basically, like uh, how I see it, it's gonna like close some shops. Uh, that's how I see it. It's gonna close some vape shops down. Because having two flavours in a shop is stupid. Yes, you can still get your devices as normal. It's not affecting the devices. And that may mean you might have to make your own liquids for some of you people down there. And I think it's going to make some people go back to smoking. Because there's some people out there that like the flavours and they don't want to go on that tobacco menthol type. Again, I don't want to go back for it. Maybe mixture, a mixture flavoured with menthol. Maybe that sort of stuff. But a strictly tobacco or menthol for some people that don't want to go on there. It's going to make people go back smoking. Back to smoking. It's going to. And it's, it's stupid. So, that's what's been going on. This whole thing with the whole funder suit. So basically, um, over there they'll try to sue the FDA. This is what I've been hearing about. So, um, so you obviously, do you know what I mean? Put, take your part in it for the vape community to help the vape community keep strong and basically from the suit try and sue the FDA but obviously I'm sure there's like within court there's three different stages so I think the first one I did pass I'm not too sure if I get it wrong just I mean drop a comment below and let me know down there and um, I think I went through that and it went well but what if like they went through like they did it again, but like the highest stages, as far as I know. And that, that consumes more money, do you know what I mean? Not everybody can afford it, but obviously everyone will put whatever they can as much as possible to help the community. community. What's going on now is just getting ridiculous. Over there, across the pond, it's disgusting. I only can do what I can do over here. I can't do as much as possible. All I can do is just like, what I've been doing in... Obviously, uh, putting posts up and writing my own uh, say 
you know, in my notes on my phone and then post it on Instagram and then just share other people's posts. Like, right, there's like points where there was voting for stuff by a certain date. So I've been posting that and just helping out in the community, do you know what I mean? Tagging everyone in and just reposting and reposting as much as possible. I've been doing my own part, so which is fine. But um, there was one person who... I also look up to on the YouTube, um, Joel, Mr. Vaping, just right, one, if I got that right, if I got it wrong, jeez, Jesus, I'm sorry, <laughs> Mr. Vaping, just right, one, there you go, I can't get my words out today, yeah, he, there was a point where he was really annoyed, he was on a live stream on a Tenacious TX stand on there, I'll put the links for the full video on the live stream in the description, and I'll put links for their channel, yeah, I'll put links to their channel, so Joel on the stand. And everyone else in there. Yeah, so he was annoyed and he wanted to get a lot of advocacy off his chest on what's going on. Why he's annoyed about certain stuff and whatnot. So, obviously, I got permission. I like it. I asked for permission if I could use one clip to show you guys, you know, uh, what he was on about. Because, um, obviously, just doing it without permission, he just doesn't feel right. So, he was fine with it. In general, I didn't need permission, but for me, still, he still got to ask for permission, so it's a definite yes. From both, I asked Joel and Stan, both of them, they said, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, watch the video. So, so go ahead, feel free to get it off your chest, because I know people in the chat already know, and I know some people are wondering, and I can see that you're just really down because you feel like it needs to be addressed. And I agree, it needs to be addressed, but I don't want to make it a personal attack. That's kind of where I'm It's not a personal it. attack, man. Well, you know it's what I'm just... saying. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so everybody who don't know who's asking the chat, Joy, you're all right, you're all right, you're mm -hmm. all right. You know, I'm not all right, guys. I'm I'm really, 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 really pissed off right now. I'm not even really pissed off as much as I am disappointed and let down by not the community. Don't ever think it's the community. It is the industry, the manufacturers, the companies in which profit off of this, that earn your money every time you buy something who think is they're too good or it's going to, it won't look good on their social media page for them to do something and to mention the FDA 100K comments or the advocacy part of it. When just a couple of weeks ago, when it was fun to suit, they were quick to put up money to get a little, get their name up there and put their name beside it as an advertisement bit. They're quick to do that, but they're not quick to stand up and say, hey, no, you know what? We care about our community. We want to fight with y'all. We want to stand up. And so what if it takes two seconds for us to put up one stinking post, one post, and they refuse to do it? Why? Because it doesn't fit their <clears throat> persona, per se, on their social media. It's not the cool thing to do. It's not the end thing to do. I want you guys to know. It's not, this ain't name blasting. It, I can say this name because these people know I stand with them 150,000 times over. Wodafo, I sent them a personal message and said, hey, look, you have to do this. This is, I'm not asking you. I'm not pleading with you. I'm telling you, you have to do this. I saw the message. Why? He's because it, this matters to me. It is something that I am passionate about. And it didn't take two seconds for me to get a reply. We're on it, brother. No worries. We'll get it done. If a company does not care enough, I'm not going to name drop companies. If they don't care enough to help us fight this FDA thing and make sure that people know about it to the masses to use their platforms, man, I'm not giving you my money. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing it. And I don't expect none of the community to do the same thing. You know, if they and there's big names, there's companies right now who are going through other issues that refuse to do it. And I'm oh like, guys, are you stupid? Are you dumb? Are you just slow? What's wrong with you? Do you not realize that you need to do this? You need, the community needs to know that the companies in which they spend their money with give two flips about whether or not we have these flavors. If we don't have flavors, what devices do they think they're gonna sell? What juices do they think they're gonna sell? They're not. It's not rocket science, man. It's two plus two is four. It's simple. If they don't care enough to do that, then I don't care enough to speak about them. I don't care enough to do anything with them. I mean, it, it just, I'm, I'm angry, I'm mad, but I'm more disappointed than anything. The community is fighting the industry's fight. It takes 
both fronts in a battle of this magnitude. You got to have all your forces conjoined and throwing every bit of ammunition we have at the FDA to let them know that no, we're not going quietly. We're not going peacefully. We're going to stand up and we're going to fight for something that we believe in. It is our right to have a life-saving device or potentially life-saving device to get people off of analog cigarettes. And if those companies don't care enough to say something about it, then I don't care enough for them. Nothing at all, period. And go make sure that them people know that they have to do that. If they don't do that, the numbers matter to them. So you know what happens when their numbers fall? Well, what did we do wrong? Where did we go wrong? Where did you go wrong? You didn't stand with the people that pay you your paychecks. I'm, that's it. That's, that's, that's what I wanted to get off my chest, guys. Now, I'm, I'm, I can't tell you guys enough. Like, I have been quiet. I ain't put up a YouTube video. I haven't done anything. I've been watching and observing to see who's saying what, who's doing what, what is it boiling down to? And it's kind of seeing where the forces need to be directed. What do they need to be directed at? They need to be directed at the industry, not the community. Don't worry about what the community is doing. Worry about what the industry is doing. The people with the money, those guys that have all eyes on them. If they have all the attention, they have all the numbers, utilize that platform like it's supposed to be used. If not, that platform will come out from underneath you. Don't believe me? Try me. So yeah, that was Joel and on his say about the whole situation that's going on. Um, he, he has, from my personal view of it, he has a point, like, about what's, you know, with the whole advocacy that's going on, like, with the companies, obviously, there's no name dropping, it's not good to name drop, which he didn't anyway, that's all due, all due to respect. With posting on, like, say, for example, again, Instagram, for example, in the vape community, a lot, how I've seen, a lot, how I have seen it, a lot more in the vape community, has been helping out as much as possible, putting money across, do you know what I mean? Social media, getting it out there more so people know what's going on for the people that don't know what's going on, do you know what I mean? So they can come together and fight this flavour ban that's going over the, that's going on over there across the pond. And basically saying pretty much in the vape industry Basically, like, company-wise, you don't see as much advocacy posts because he's saying it doesn't look... It, how they're probably seeing it, probably seeing it they, on their page. They do, if they post, it wouldn't look good on their page because it just looks odd. You know, with the whole sales and selling your stuff and just getting your uh, hardware and all that stuff out there, do you know what I mean? But there's not much advocacy that's going on. If they basically joined with the community together and put as much advocacy as possible and put in, I don't know, maybe putting money into it. We don't know if they're putting money into it. They might have. They might have without us knowing, but they have not posted it. They might not need to post it, but just in general with putting standard advocacy posts to get it out there more, I think we have more of a chance. they have more of a chance of getting it, getting rid of the whole ban situation that's going on so they can keep, the flavors, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, he is annoyed with it. He's not like I said. He's not forcing companies or in the industry to post something. He's just asking because it could help so much better. It could help a lot better for the community. It'll get out there more because they they they'll have a higher. I don't know. They'll have a higher following. I don't know. I don't think the following does matter, but companies that are well known then you, they'll have more of a chance. That's what he's basically saying. And he is annoyed with it. So, obviously, if they're not doing anything about it, then he's not going to stand by it. If I, if I got that right, yeah. If He's not going to stand by it, by them. Do you know what I mean? Until something is pretty much done. Yeah. Oh, let me take a vape, god damn. You'll have to bear with me on this, because this is, this advocacy is, I'm struggling a little bit with this whole stuff. Reviews I'm alright, but just like advocacy now, this is this is a whole new world for me. So yeah, just just bear with me. Do you know what I mean? I hope you all understand what I'm on about and uh get my point across and whatnot and just get it out there a lot more. As much as possible. I don't think I'm talking. I 
think I've already said it, but what I think about the whole flavour ban is ridiculous. Um, it's getting daft. There's no need because all it is is, you know, sign a petition on all sorts of stuff and you put your um, you put your say on how, how is um, flavoured e-liquids helped you stop smoking. And it basically takes like two minutes. It doesn't take long. Obviously, I tried it, but supposedly uh, for, for the people who done their written side and sent it in uh, it deletes it because th we don't count so but that means you have to change like your VPN and all that sort of stuff which I, I'll be m maybe too much for me do you know what I mean but I, I tried I tried to help as much as possible and I'll keep helping on social media as much as possible but I uh, yeah again I think it's uh yeah it's ridiculous because again going in the shop and say oh okay just tobacco menthol it gets boring it just gets so boring it's not nice it's gonna close shops and I'm saying this all again. I'm sorry, but close shops and it's gonna. How I see it, it's gonna make some people go back to smoking. Supposedly the FDA didn't understand how is flavored illiquids helping people stop smoking. Well, stopped. Just let them be, man. Just why do you have to? You see the reason how I see it. Uh, government and all that sort of stuff and companies, tobacco companies. The reason. How I'm seeing this is they're losing out on money. They're losing out on money. So they're finding ways through the vape, the whole vape situation in the industry. Well, not the industry, what, what's, what's the other word? The whole, the whole vape with like mods and liquids and all that sort of stuff. They're finding some, and I've come across this in previous time before, way before I even start reviewing. Um, they're finding different ways on giving vaping a bad name for them to clamp them down and for them to keep on making more money keeping on keeping what the heck that doesn't make sense basically they're wanting more money and it's ridiculous so much false stuff because it's it's been proven it's 95% healthy than smoking do you know what I mean? Even the NHS themselves says it if people want to come off cigarettes and come to this. Do you know what I mean? Yes, they're probably still finding ways on what else is in, in it. You know, the whole liquids and what it affects. What it affects. If people have an allergic reaction, like the whole wet lung situation. I don't know if it was a guy or was it a woman had an allergic reaction from it. But that's rare. It's not. It's not like a common really common thing that it happens to loads of people it's rare some people like they come in the work the shop i work in and there's the odd there's two people at the rest of the of the um customers i see that is one is they can't have pg and two uh what's the other one they only can have one of them only can have um 70 30 can't have 80 20 or 50 50 i can't remember what reaction she has but surely can have something for it, which is weird. But it's just let people be, and if it's helping a lot better than cigarettes, then let them be. Literally, honestly, because as far as I know, VG PG flavoring in, in the nicotine. If you want the nicotine, that's pretty much it. And then if you go search how much toxins and stuff is in cigarettes. And all the poison and whatnot. Look at the big difference between them both, man. It's a massive difference. Even people and customers are coming in the shop that are working and saying, for the past, after a good three to four months in, after completely stopping smoking, they feel a lot better. They feel like they can breathe better. They feel like the on on the chest is more cleaner than what they was before. Do you know what I mean? They just feel a lot better. Come on, man. What does that tell you? It's just ridiculous, man. I don't see the point in banning it. It's daft. There's no point. Because they don't understand. I, f I feel like, I don't know. I'd, as I was thinking at one point, did do some of them vape themselves? Or do all of like the FDA like in that circle don't vape? Do you know what I mean? It just, it's, it's all backwards for me. And it's just, it just doesn't make sense. There's a video I'm going to link as well. 
Yeah, there's a video a link. It's called it's called uh, Truth About Vaping. Um, it's just an example on what's going on with companies. I think it's as an example over there again. And it's a really really good video. It's just about uh, what's basically what's going on now. And how the tobacco companies, you know, really is up there, and obviously they're finding different ways. Well, not no, that's how I see it. They're basically finding different ways and how to clamp down vaping. Do you know what I mean? And then they were losing out on money, so that's where they're finding different stuff and then clamping it down so much as again we're banning flavors and whatnot. And then I think they're trying to make themselves get into the vape community side and then like try to squeeze himself in to make more money in a way but i'll put the link the video explains a lot better than what i am what i'm doing <laughs> but i'll put that in the description as well please watch that as well uh, definitely watch that one and last but not least vape tax well come down on vape taxes as well jesus tax and vape imagine that i don't know specific and it's happening supposedly yeah um chris empire vape he recently put a video up it was on about vape tax, uh, allegedly talking about it, but and it and, and that's to do with over here. We don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but just imagine that. He did say like there's no specific percentage, so don't go by his word in a way. Um, say if you bought like a mod or liquid, there's a certain percentage. Say if it were twenty pound, it could be like twenty two, twenty five. Who knows? It was a tax. It's not by VAT. It's tax. So that's that's pretty that's ridiculous vape tax. You see what I'm saying? All this stuff that's going on, it's getting daft. Cause they're money grabbing. Government, them com them companies are money grabbing. Disgusting. Oh man, I wish I could clap them, but that's that's a whole different level. I don't want to start threatening people. No, that's not a good. That's not a good thing. I only could do what I could do, and I hope I explained that, and then you all understood, on uh, what I was talking about. Um, yeah, because I'm not really good at explaining. I even wrote it down, and explaining it is just, I don't know, I'm struggling a little bit. But again, I'm glad for the people who sat there and sat here and watched this video. I appreciate you, guys and girls, whoever's watching. Um, yeah, I just want to, I'd like to help out because I just do, man. And I'm sure everyone else wants to, but they just can't. People don't like advocacy, they don't bother. That's another thing as well. That's how I see it when people are, for example, posting some other stuff. I don't know if they ever helped out. We don't know that, but just, again, like Joel said, one post makes a little difference. Do you know what I mean? Makes a little difference. A little is better than nothing. Yeah? Remember that. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to put links of everything that I was on about. In the description below, Stan, Joel, the video about the uh, about vaping itself. Um, yeah, and basically vapor rights, so you can uh, basically let me just put this. Uh, it sure, tells you about taxes and sales and regulation and what's going on. I'll put the whole Kassar and different areas in the US where it's trying to clamp down on vaping, and you can put your word in as everything. All information will be in the description below. So please go on to the links. Have a good browse. Watch the videos and etc. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. If it's a thumbs down, let me know why in the comments so I can improve. And I'll see you guys next time. Well, God damn. Peace.